हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ आवर ऑनगोइंग लेक्चर सीरीज अबाउट एथिक्स इन आईपीआर इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ एथिक्स फॉर प्रोफेशनल्स फॉलोड बाय सम क्वेश्चन आंसर लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द टुडेस प्रेजेंटेशन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट थिंग्स दैट अफेक्ट द एथिक्स एंड सोर्सेस व्हाट वी हैव for the ethics and values let us start with the first point that is nothing but what affects ethics so answer is g f p g means greed f means fear and p means pressure so what is greed often we compromise our principles our ethics for financial greed and power and we realize the value of not what we have got but what we have lost when our value system is not clear getting what we want can be a bigger tragedy the story of king midas says it all we all know the story of the greed king named midas he had a lot of gold and the more he had the more he wanted once when god asked him to wish for anything he wanted he wished that anything he touched be changed to gold his wish was granted he touched the bed his clothes and everything turns to gold he looked out of the window and saw his daughter playing in the garden he decided to give her a surprise and thought she would be happy but before he went to the garden he decided to read a book the moment he touched it it turned into gold and he could not read it when he sat to have breakfast and the moment he touched the fruit and the glass of water they turned to gold he was getting hungry and he said to himself i can't eat and drink gold just about that time his daughter came running and he hugged her and she turned into gold statue he cried because he got what he wanted but lost everything he begged god for forgiveness and was very happy when whatever he touched becomes normal he realized gold was not everything in life we may compromise a lot for money but in the end may realize that we have lost more because we did not realize its value moving to the next point which affect ethics is fear this is also another factor contributing to loss of ethics fear of losing a job being victimized or being left behind so how to overcome your fears by speaking out and sharing your fears with people close to you like friends family members can be a great help in overcoming them the second thing emotions kept inside tends to gather negative thoughts they can become big enough to affect your health professional performance decisions and judgments be bold share your thoughts seek help believe in yourself do not compromise on your ethics you will open the door to more fear next point which affect ethics is pressure modern living is full of pressure pressure clouds judgment and clear thinking leading to ethics and values being compromised fudging of data to meet deadlines signing papers without reading passing judgment without understanding so how we can overcome such a situation by learning to plan and maintain a diary developing a habit to read and keep yourself informed develop and maintain a hobby learn meditation 
योगा और वट एवर सूट्स यू मूविंग टू द लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज नथिंग बट सोर्स ऑफ वैल्यूज एंड एथिक्स वी गेट अवर डिग्रीज फ्रॉम स्कूल्स कॉलेजेस बट वेर डू वी गेट अवर वैल्यूज एंड एथिक्स फ्रॉम आर दे टॉट दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन विच ईच ऑफ अस हैज टू एंसर हिमसेल्प और हर सेल्फ मे बी इट इज अ स्कूल टीचर और फैमिली मेंबर मे बी इट इज अ रिलीजन बट वॉट एवर इट इज इट अफेक्ट लाइफ यूअर्स एंड ऑफ दोज अराउंड यू तो वन ऑफ द सर्वे दे हैव शोन दैट द बिगेस्ट सोर्स ऑफ एथिक्स एंड वैल्यू इज फैमिली देन टीचर्स देन रिलीजन then books and novels famous personalities friends life movies organization where one works past life spouse so i hope that you are a little clear on ethics in ipr finally i conclude that foundations of any good business or professional achievements rest on good values and ethics weak and corrupt individuals do not make strong nations quite often we tends to give too much values to negativity forgetting all that is positive and beautiful around us this is going to be end of my presentation and i hope you enjoyed my presentation have a great day if you have any question ask me in the comment box thank you